Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to find y-intercept. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The first part of our worksheet is about how to find y-intercept from a graph. In order to find the y-intercept by looking at a graph, you have to look at where your line crosses the y-axis. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and label our graph. We know that this is the y-axis, and we know that this is the x-axis. So the y-axis is always a vertical axis, and the x-axis is always the horizontal axis. What you are looking for is you are looking for the spot where your line crosses the y-axis. So you're trying to find exactly where your linear equation will cross the y-axis. If you look at our first example here, the line crosses the y-axis right here when y equals 1. That means our y-intercept has to be 1. And that's our solution. Number 2 is similar to number 1. We have a graph and we have the equation of a line that crosses the graph. I went ahead and labeled this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. To find the y-intercept, you have to find where your line crosses the y-axis. So in the case of this example, our line goes through the y-axis right here at the origin. Now when it goes through right at the origin, that means the y-intercept is zero. And that's our answer. The second part about how to find y-intercept is about tables. Now when you look at a table, the way you find the y-intercept is you're looking for when x is equal to 0. So in some tables, it's as easy as looking at the table and identifying when x is 0 and then looking at y. So in the case of our first example, we can look right at the table. We can see that our x value of 0 is given to us and we can see that y is negative 26 when x equals 0. That means that the y-intercept for this table will be negative 26 because we already know when x is 0 the y is negative 26 and it's that easy. However, sometimes they do not give you an x equals 0. So in order to find the y-intercept, we have to go backwards to when x equals 0. In the case of this example, we have to fill in the 0 in the x column. In order to do that, we have to work backwards. So if we go this way, every time we move up a row, we add 1 to the x. So plus 1, plus 1. That means when we go backwards, we're going to subtract 1 from the x. And that will give us x is 0. Now we have to do the same thing for y because we have to find the y value when x is equal to 0. So when you go this way for the y's, you add 5 each time. Now when we're going to go backwards, we have to subtract 5. So when we go this way, we add 5. In order to go backwards, you're going to subtract 5. When you subtract 5, you do 10 minus 5 and that gives you 5. So now we know when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5. So we know now that the y-intercept is 5. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.